Aries, welcome to your Astro Flower reading for the week going from the 27th through to the 2nd of April. We're going to be going into your chakras, your aura and a reading of your tarot at the end of this video. Thank you very much for joining us here, subscribing, clicking that bell and putting on all notifications. Um, let's just see what's going on in your chakras here. We're into your root chakra here and this is your uh, happy birthday, by the way, uh, to anybody who's having their birthday this week. The start of a new year, start of a whole new cycle. Um, <clears throat> and we can see this within um, your root chakra. It's it's really shaped. There's not um, there's no real movement on there. It's a case of dis decisions are being made and acted upon, basically. Um, you've got this foundation. You should know where you're going in this coming year if you don't take time out to meditate uh, connect with your heart and your sacrum to understand your desires and then uh, connect with your solar plexus uh, to see how to implement that and finally with your third eye to see the logical path going forward but for majority of you i think there's an understanding of what you want out of life and now it's a question of going ahead and getting it uh, let's see what's going on with your sacrum Oh, this is interesting. Uh, there's a lot more on relationship side than on the material side of life. Um, the material side of life seems to be matter of fact in a way. Um, and the relationship side seems to need um, uh, needs more of your time, basically, in this week here. Uh, let's just see what's going on in the middle of it. There is a definite um, direction to your... To your um, fundamental desires uh, and, and a sort of logic or sort of understanding of how you want to be and where you want to be and and how to progress basically within your uh, fundamental desire. So a fundamental desire is, is say like I'm hungry. Your heart's desires is what do I want to eat? So um, it's it seems to be pretty clear for you and, and it's and it's concentrating on the fun side of life, relationships, or um, sort of activity, pleasures, um, uh, that sort of thing. It seems to be a desire to concentrate on that sort of thing. Let's just see what's going on with your um, with your solar plexus. Yeah, it's it's engaging now. It's engaging in the here and now. It's engaging in the life around you. Um, the connection with other people. The connection with your physical life. Uh, the material side of life as well um it's engaging yeah it's engaging in the here and now and it's having all that passions now that are starting to fire up through you uh to get you really motivated and moving on let's just see what's going on in your heart chakra yeah there's i think it's mainly socializing uh basically uh for you uh this week um aries there is a degree of uh, connecting with your partner or um, meeting someone and it may not necessarily a meeting where you're kind of going oh wow I've just met the most amazing person it may be a case of kind of going oh, I met this person today very interesting and it develops over time um, but it's it's, in, it's if you're with a partner already it's a case of um, uh, uh, exploring or nurturing that sort of relationship let's just see what's going on with your third eye and your throat chakra Okay, so there's a, there's a lot more going on in the, in the third eye um, and seeing things clearly, seeing, um, I, think it's, I think it's applying a lot more logic in your life uh, more than anything else. Everybody seems to be getting a mechanical week this week, to be honest, um, and it's applying that logic that is within you, uh, within your life around you. Let's just see what's going on with your crown chakra. That's really at ease. I think you're really at ease with yourself at the moment, uh, Aries. Because that definition of knowing where you want to be going and what you should be doing and what your fundamental desires are makes you feel at ease and at home with yourself. Um, so your crown chakra, your consciousness, is um, it's it's not it's not searching at all. It's not pushing it out there, but it's not also sort of uh, collapsing in on itself. It's more of a case of um, 
you being feeling at ease and at home with who you are, basically with the, your own consciousness. Let's just have a look what's going on in your on your aura. Hmm. As you explore your pleasures or uh, the connections with your relationships that are around you, um, there's going to be a realisation, I think, in the week, according to your financial sort of side of life, your material side, according to your job and your business. It could be a case of realising that uh, I'm working too much and, uh, you know, I'm not getting the uh, work play ethic uh, in balance uh, or it could be a case of I need to work smarter in order to enjoy my life more or explore the relationships around me more, have more time for me and uh, me and my life, as it were. Let's just see what's going on at the top there. There is a sort of imposition that comes in at the weekend afterwards, next weekend. Mm. I'm not sure it's going to be, it doesn't feel, um, it doesn't feel very comfortable for you. It's almost as if it's a bit like, huh, oh, gee, I've got to deal with that sort of scenario um, that's coming on at the end of the week. It doesn't seem to, you don't seem to have the solution that comes with it. It's not instant solution there. Um, and it's going to have to filter through you. And we'll probably see that in next week's reading or even in Petal 10 there. So let's get on with your um, with your tarot reading. Already you've got the Moon, Two of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. Nice. Really boding well for your relationship side. Let's just see what's going on with the overall energy. Thank you very much, Aries, for being here and subscribing. Let's just see what's going on here. We've got the Nine of Pentacles. Time is ripe. Your ideas are ripe. Your life is ripe for harvesting. And this is what I mean about sort of, you know, getting on and going and doing it. Um, applying your root chakra that's, you know, that comfort within who you are, that comfort within the harvest that you have in front of you. Those, those ripe fruits. Karmic message here on your relationship side is feeling at one with yourself. At home is what we said within the crown chakra. Um, she's very confident, uh, the Queen of Pentacles. She knows what she wants. She knows where she's going. She doesn't really have to stress about it. Um, and that's what your karmic message is within your relationships that are around you. Yeah, very socialising, as I said. Hugely socialising. That's what the universe is trying to influence within you. It's time to play, uh, Aries. It's trying to explore and celebrate. And I would go to any sort of... Um, any sort of gatherings or dinner parties or even if it's just a, you know, going to the local fete or seeing a local band somewhere or something like that, just socialising, getting out there. It's going to build that confidence that you can have within the world around you. OK, the hangman, he was upside down. I, I yeah, I, you know, seeing the world differently. I think it's because you've seen the world differently. You've It's now to apply in your relationships and your also in your pleasures, I think, here more than anything else, um, how you've seen the world differently. Uh, and that's what those choices are to be made maybe uh, during the week, how you get into that sort of uh, provide time and realisation so you've got that more time and, and space for um, sort of activities and pleasures that are around you. Ten of Pentacles coming out from the nine of pentacles just utterly feeling at home and, and this is what i was talking about in your crown chakra as well it's feeling utterly at home with an insecurity uh you know or feeling secure not insecurity uh feeling in security as it were but feeling secure of who you are and your connections with the people that are around you really really beautiful solid um uh, solidness on your relationship side. Let's just see what's going on your financial side. The hermit. Everybody's had it. Literally, everybody's had it. Your karmic path here, the hermit has the, um, I'm getting tired of repeating it, but the hermit has the, um, you know, the star card in its lantern. It's captured the star. It's captured their 
de uh, desires and aspirations for the future. And if you've done that, this is your karmic message is now is the time to express it, to involve it, to um, to make your job, your business, uh, your projects work for you, basically. And the star car with it. The universe is sort of saying, you've got it all over. Uh, financially, I think there's a huge amount of um, confidence and clarity within you at the moment in regards to your financial world. Go for those dreams and aspirations. Really go for it. Um, you know, and but don't sell yourself short either. Uh, and this is where uh, a case of, you know, realising that you're making the world, uh, you know, your, your, your job or your business or your projects work for you more than anything else. Page of Swords as well. Lots of ideas. This is well also been coming up for a lot of people. Um, this is the influence from your guides that are creating the coincidences that are around you. It's providing a lot of inspiration, a lot of ideas that need to be implied within your life. Uh, as you go forward, a really good in the way of financial sort of uh, side here, very innovative um, side of your life coming out. Eight of um, eight of swords. I think this is more uh, a case of not being stuck. It's um, it's almost as if you're sort of selling, saying to yourself, and you're selling yourself on the fact that kind of going. Look at all these ideas. If I want it, I've got to move. I've got to do it. A movement is, um, it's it's almost saying to yourself, so it's saying, you know, if you don't move, if you still remain stuck, life is not going to, it's almost threatening, you're threatening yourself, saying stop being stuck in your ways, move, innovate, uh, explore, um, yeah, travel, all of those sort of things. I think here is where your guides are really sort of trying to sort of saying, do not go back to that. And really trying to influence your future. Ace of Wands. Um, yeah, according to what that that thing was going to be happening at the weekend, that sort of uh, imposition by the world around you, um, it's gonna it, it's gonna come from you. That passion is gonna come from you. Uh, it's also gonna come from the outside world, which is gonna help you to almost um, in, yeah impose yourself upon the world around you. Um, and that is, it's going to help you make decisions very quickly about situations that could be quite heavy, uh, which will lighten the load a lot. And that fire is going to, you know, sometimes when farmers, they burn the fields, it's, it's, you know, it's clearing out a lot of things for you, um, as you go forward and going to make, um, you be very passionate about your, your going, your, your going concerns within your life. Not only within your relationship side, but also within your material side, you're gonna you're gonna really sort of own life. I think um, through this reading here, very very solid solid reading for you here, Aries. Absolutely brilliant. Thank you very much for being here with us. Um, uh, thank you for subscribing and clicking that bell and supporting this channel. In the meantime, um, don't forget life should be fun. So please do enjoy.